point. You are a human, I am a human. Right. I, I, I have belief, right, yeah. that we all have very similar beliefs. R regardless of what religion you are, we have all the same fundamentals. I would disagree. Drinking alcohol, good or bad? I have no qualms in it. You can do what you want to do. I think it's bad. Therefore, we're not the same. Believe in sex outside of marriage? Do I? No. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I don't, so we're not the same. Um, do you believe in gambling? That gambling's yeah, all right? That's only your ethos no, but you in can't, your head. You, 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 that's you, you as a human, no, as a no, human you, being, you no, are the same as me. No, no, but you can't say we all think we've got the same values, because we don't. You're a slave. Yeah? Right. I'll tell you the difference. You're a slave to your ego. I'm a slave to my creator. Okay. Yeah? And that's a massive difference. You know why? Because your ego will fool you and trick you and want stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you're a slave to your creator, it doesn't matter what the ego wants. There's five poisons. Drugs, alcohol, gambling, sexual immorality, and interest. These are the five poisons in every society, right? right? The worst thing is, is when you combine them. If you combine alcohol and gambling, oh, your wages are gone. Mm -hmm. Your wages are gone. You combine alcohol and sexual immorality, Teenage pregnancies by the score. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. So we have a situation where you're living, like you say, you, you go out, you smell the trees. But that's got nothing to do with the values you have in your life and what you think is right and wrong. Because you've already told me gambling's all right, drinking's all right, sexual and sleeping outside of marriage is all right. Yes. You care about truth. You, your search for truth is based upon scientific facts. Scientific facts in regards to where, well, where have they come from? Is there such a thing as facts in science? Not really. Some facts. No, there is none. But not all facts. There's no facts. There's no absolutes. The whole, the whole, the whole, whole, the whole philosophy, no the whole philosophy of science is based upon the idea that everything, nothing is absolute. The whole philosophy of science is to tomorrow's uh, discovery could refute the, 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 the scientific beliefs yeah. of today. Yeah, so for example, the steady state universe was refuted by um, background radiation, yeah. the red shift. So when they discovered the red shift, they realized that the universe is not static. And so, but at that point it, it was recognized as a fact, but there's no facts in science, there's no absolutes. So how do you use a method to establish truth that in its uh, philosophy, there is no such thing as facts? Well, how can you base anything? Like, how can you base anything anyone believes on anything other than belief okay. in something? So you can believe in anything you like. Okay. You can believe in a scientist. You can believe in that someone says this and that's what you believe. Okay, okay, okay. And it's down to you whether you want to believe. No, but what does the word belief mean? I, I would say trust. <laughs> it's a good word. So the word, the word belief is synonymous with the word trust, mm -hmm. accept, convinced, convict. So all of these words are synonymous with the word belief. So if you wanted to remove the word belief from a sentence, yeah. instead of saying, I believe this is true, you say, I accept this is true. I trust this is true. Yeah. I have faith this is true. I'm convinced this is true. I'm convicted this is true. So for example, I believe Brazil are going to win the World Cup. Mm -hmm. I believe. All right. I'm saying... I, I accept, I think Brazil is going to win the World Cup. I'm convinced Brazil is going to win the World Cup. I, I trust Brazil is going to win the World Cup. So you can use one of those words to apply to that principle. Yeah. But Brazil are going to win the World Cup and me accepting such a thing, mm -hmm. you can't accept anything unless you've heard a premise. Also, have you heard a, you've heard a, uh, what's the word? A, a proposition. Yeah. And so you've heard the proposition. So I think, uh, who do you think is going to win the World Cup? So that's the question. I believe Brazil is going to win the World Cup. Okay, the next question is, why? Why do you believe Brazil's gonna win the World Cup? And then I'll give you my reasoning. Uh -huh. Well, Brazil, you know, look at their keepers, they can choose Alisson, they can choose Edison as a starter for 10. Yeah, you look at their strike force, you look at their midfield, you look at the flair they have. They, although Argentina might be close, I yeah. believe Brazil gonna win. That doesn't mean Brazil is gonna win. No. It doesn't mean I know Brazil's gonna win. Mm -hmm. But Brazil could win, yeah? Therefore, <laughs> my, my belief is based upon reason. Yeah. Yeah? Now, if I said, Qatar's going to win the World Cup, 
No. You could no, you could ask the same question. Why do you think Qatar's gonna win the World Cup? I could say, well, it's in Qatar, they're gonna have the fans behind them, and they they're used to playing in that place and yeah. But then you could counter that and say, well, what about Brazil? What about Argentina? What about France? And then you could challenge my belief. Yeah. Yeah. No, I could still believe it, but I might be a little bit delusional. Mm -hmm. but, but my belief could still be true. Yeah. All right. So when you say you, you believe something to be true, it has to be based upon a uh, reasoning. Yes. Or blind. So people can blindly believe something's true just because, or they can um, have good reason to believe something yeah. is true okay so I'll say it again to you how do you seek out truth using a method that doesn't have a mechanism to establish what is factual because you can go back so say if you say like what is your beliefs and I said that I don't have any and I believe yeah. in like mother nature and maybe there's something who knows the scientific facts of like how far humanity goes back what are, the, what are those facts so finding like remains of humans and different things like that that go back past, way past any religion that exists today. Which, okay, okay. Would you agree with that? No. So you don't believe that there's any, any like body parts or bones or whatever have been found That's prior to any religion? No. How far back do you think Oh, we don't Life know when we don't, we don't know when the first man was. We don't. We're not. We're not. Uh, as a Muslim, we don't believe in young creationism. We're not a six thousand right. year old world. You know, we have no issue with the universe being fourteen point four billion years old, or whatever it may be. So, from the the start of where um, sort of the Muslim religion sort of started, what's before that? Okay, we believe we believe religion. But what was the start? No, no, right. So this is the point. See, we believe religion. It is merely man's um, relationship mm -hmm. with his creator. Right. So, so the first man created, that would be the first religion. Right. So Adam, yeah. his religion would be what? Submission and surrender to God. Would you agree? Let's imagine God exists in this scenario. Yeah. So Adam is the first man created. To connect to his creator, he would submit to his creator because that creator would be the source of supreme guidance and um, source of objective morality. Yeah. Would you agree? Um, therefore, that would be the first religion. Okay. Now, I will put it to you, there is only one religion. There is no other religion that is true. Okay. Yeah? Only Islam can be a true religion. And now the, the reason is, the word Islam in itself means submission and surrender to God. Right which by definition mean any prophet that came in the past would have submitted and surrendered to God, which would have made their religion Islam. Right. And in Arabic, right. when you do the action, you put mu' in front of the word. So if you do the adhan, you know, the call to prayer, mm -hmm. uh, it's called the adhan. Um, in Arabic, the one who does that is called the mu'adhin. Right. Mu'adhin is the one who does the, the, one who does the call. Yeah. Okay. So like, when you walk, you put ER on... Uh, w when you walk and you become a walker, you put ER on the end to show you're doing the action. In Arabic, you put mu in front of the word. So when your religion is Islam, then you're a Muslim or mu Islam or yeah. Muslim because you're doing Islam. So the only religion that's ever existed, the religion of Moses, Noah, Abraham, Jesus, all the prior prophets, could only be Islam. Okay. Yeah. The, 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 there's nothing. There's no other alternative. Jesus wasn't a Christian. No. Now, Jesus' um, tribe might have been Judah, but that's the, even that's debatable. But his way of life, which is what Islam is, would have been Islam. Okay. So this is how we differentiate. So I'm an Englishman who is a Muslim. So I'm an Englishman whose way of life is Islam. Okay. Yeah. So this is all the prior. So going back to your science now, how do you explain our existence using your science? Well, there is no answer to that because we have never found that. But if man existed prior to the beginning of Islam, which you, you won't acknowledge. No, no, no. It's a fact. It can't be because by, by definition, Why? because by definition, the first From man. What? OK, OK. The first, the, by definition. From the Quran? No, no. The definition? No, no, no. Where are you getting that from? Oh, okay. Do you accept that if God created a man, yeah? Yeah. Or, or are you trying to say there's a man existed without when God doesn't exist? Is that what you're trying to say? 
who is to say that God didn't exist prior to supposedly creating that first, maybe that first man that he created with the first perfect man that he thought he created, but there were other men that existed that weren't perfect. Right. Why, why do you think Adam was perfect? Well, I'm not saying he's perfect. Well, we don't believe maybe, maybe that's what we he don't, we don't believe. We perfect. don't believe no human being is, per is created perfect. I, I just don't see how, in, in the science of finding that humans existed before a religion, or be where do humans come from? Using your science, where do humans come from? We don't know. We, we use your science. We, we cannot. But well, you're seeking like, truth. You're supposed to be seeking truth here. So we go so far down a rabbit hole, and we know no answers. No, you don't. You, 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 have an, you have an explanation, which is nonsense. So your explanation is the idea that human beings evolved from some common ancestor like the monkeys and apes did. And that common ancestor... I don't think that. No, well, you have to. You're science, mate. You're science, mate. I don't. That, so you science, just, science is against that now. No, no, that's what science teaches. The, I know that's what it teaches, but if you actually look into the... How not, is science against Outside it? of school, the teaching is not... How that. is science against we, it? We didn't evolve from apes. I didn't say evolve from apes. Been. I said apes, monkeys, chimpanzees, gorillas, whatever, yeah. all evolved from the same common ancestor. They did, but we didn't. I believe. No, no, no. But your science, Darwinian evolution. Yeah, but that's that's one person's opinion. No, but that's a scientific community. All right, it's a community. All but right, it's still their opinion that they believe that that is true. So, so you don't believe that no. human being. So where do human beings come from? We don't know. What's I the think, possibility? I, I think that this world is so old and has evolved so, so much over from? the millennia and millions of years that we have. Don't, don't, don't we, go we rings of power. Don't go rings of power that. on me. Don't go rings of power. No, no, no. Don't start talking about elven kingdoms and no, stuff. No, 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 no. All right, good man. And then you use the word we. We don't know, you say. What do you personally believe in regards to that question? Because here's the thing you see. We do exist. Let me ask you a simple question, a very simple question. Whenever we find information mm -hmm. that's functional and systematic, it's always the result of intelligent agency. Would you agree? Yeah. Okay. So when we find um, in DNA information mm -hmm. that's systematic and functional, What's the intelligent agency behind that? What, finding the DNA? No, in the DNA, yeah. we have information. Yeah. Information that's functional and systematic. In our human experience, any information that's functional and systematic is based upon intelligent agency to cause it. Right. So when we go to our DNA, who so, caused that? So if, if they can find DNA from 25,000 years ago, yeah, and they can carbon date it and they can see the DNA, yeah. what does that mean? It, it's from a human means nothing. Why? Why, why, does, why does that mean something? Well, it means that a human existed at that time. So what? But why wouldn't you accept that humans existed prior to the, the, your whether, religion? Whether humans existed on... No, no. Okay, I'll say it again to you. My religion is not Christianity. Yeah. I don't you're saying the first man was first created. First man, yeah, yeah. At the beginning. Yeah, and, then, and even if they found DNA that was, I don't know, carbon dated to. So what was before? One second, that? one second. If you want to, if you want to say you found the first man that was carbon dated to twenty-five thousand years ago, you've got to trust the person who found that thing and studied that study that are telling you the truth. How do okay. you know they're telling you the truth? How do you know that they just it's, they just want to hide the fact of God? It's exactly the same as religion. No, 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 it's not. Because it's passed down through generations, and whoever's told you, they may have put in their own no, 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 no. First thing you, you need to understand that this universe is evidence of God. This universe is the only, the, God is the only explanation for this universe. There is no other. In your opinion? No, factually. Where's Scientifically. Fact? How? Okay. This universe mm -hmm. w started off as a singularity, yeah? As in what? As like, in... Uh, like an atom or something? Well, according or? to... According to Scientific, you're a science, scientist, you like scientific facts. Yeah. Uh, it was smaller than that, like a quartz or something like that, something mm -hmm. really tiny. And then it <laughs> became the universe. But then it finally tuned itself. Right. Then, 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 then it harnessed the electromagnetic forces and the gravitational forces and the strong nuclear forces and the weak nuclear forces. And it, and it kind of balanced them all out so that we'd have a life-giving universe. Okay. All right. What's the probabilities that happening without direction? Who, who knows? Okay. Uh, I, I you, believe, you, if I'm not wrong, the... the, the you, you can't put a probability on well, No, we, we can. I'll tell you why we can. Because the probability, I, if I'm not wrong, the zeros in that equation, the probability, there's more particles in the universe than zeros in that... Mm -hmm. No, sorry, there's more zeros in that equation than yeah, particles in which, the universe. Yeah, which, right, right, yeah. which means you right now, have to concede such an absurd probability, first thing. 
Second thing, how are, what are we all created from? What gives life? Carbon. How is carbon formed? Carbon is formed in stars. Yeah? yeah. How does it form in stars? It's helium and beryllium coming together. How does it do it in such a way that to become carbon? If you look at the odds and probability that helium and carbon and the right conditions within the star and the right conditions of the forces, yeah, you're in the same quandary. Probability is absurd. Okay. 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 So we've used the science of physics for the fine tuning of the universe. Now we just use the science of chemistry for the for the fine tuning to create carbon. And now we'll move on to biology. So in biology, we have the original cell. Yeah, in the original cell, you have DNA. For that original cell to become something else, that we need evolution style, you need to, the, the, uh, the, the cell has to create new amino acids, to create new protein, to create new organism. To do that, yeah, it needs to mutate. Okay. okay. What's the probability that a mutation that takes place within the single cell produces something beneficial? Again, we can't... No, no, we can. It's absurd. Yeah. So you've got three absurdities, scientific absurdities. You have to concede to believe what you believe. Yeah. You have to believe this universe fine-tuned itself against absurd probability. You have to concede that carbon formed in stars against absurd probabilities. Yeah. You have to concede that a, a single cell randomly mutated against absurd probabilities. Everything in this world. Why do you concede is, that? Is completely random. Let me ask you a question. Could hell exist? What is hell? A, a, a hellfire, where, where people who God throws down and punishes and whatever. Could it, could it exist? In the real world, in this world, I don't think so. No, no, in, in the next life, when you die. Afterlife. Yeah, after life, after life. But no one knows about it. No, that. but could it exist? It's, again, it's an obscene thing to say it does or it does. But you like obscene things. It could. Right, so Who knows? does it not does it not concern you? No. Why? Because I don't live my life oh I don't live a bad life, so if I was to go to hell, I would go there. Who told you you don't live a bad life? I was brought up as a Catholic. But who told you you don't live a bad life? Uh well, mother and my mum and dad. The schools. <laughs> live a good life. Where where do you get where do you get your uh, morality from? Where do you get your standard of morality from? To to, de to determine what's right and wrong. Where do you get it from? Well, the people around me, I suppose. My community, this is right, this is wrong, you don't do this. So you you're a moral relativist? Yeah, you've got to do, not what others do, but you've got to... No, no you, believe, you believe that um, what your society and culture uh, accept as, as right yeah. is right. Yeah, like uh, and so, for example, as a moral relativist, you'll have to accept homosexuality is not a problem. It's, you would have to. Yeah. You would have to. Um, you would have to accept, like men marrying men and stuff. You have to accept that someone changing their gender or men yeah. uh, identifying as women and going into women's changing rooms is not a problem. You can't say it's wrong as a moral relativist. No. Do you believe it's wrong? Whether I believe it's wrong or right, it doesn't matter. Well, it does matter. Why? Because because to if you me. no, it doesn't matter. You can't take. You can't say my standard of knowing right and wrong is based upon my society and culture, and then when that society and culture does something you don't agree with, then you say, well, I, I don't think that's right. You either, you either accept what your culture says, or you're not a moral relativist. You're a moral it's uh, really agnostic. The, it's not really no, the well, no, culture, good. though, is Moral it? skeptic. It's not really the culture. It like, is. It's being more accepted. Like, to me, it's like we're all humans. Yeah. We can all do within reason, within like the... Who's, whole, who's all humans and how are you getting this? All of this? us, we're all humans. No, we are here, but you're now, you're trying to now take moral relativism into, when you say all humans, you're talking about the human race? Yeah, all but, of us, but then, all you, then you can't apply moral relativism to the human race. Why? All right, because moral relativism is to do with your culture and customs. It's got nothing to do with another country's culture and customs. But who, you says, can't, who you, says that? You're moral really relativism. Okay, because moral relativism is based upon, your right and wrong is based upon your culture and society. When you're a moral relativist, you can't say another country is wrong for doing something. Because it's their culture and, and, and that's their moral relativism. And that's what it means. Moral relativism is relative to you and your society. Yeah? Right. So you, so you can't yeah. say other countries are wrong. You can't. You can. You can basically uh, have an opinion about it based upon your moral relative. Well, my but culture that, says this is wrong. That goes back to where I say that we're all humans, right? We're well, no, humans. it doesn't. We're all English. You, you can have your belief. Are we all English? I'm not English. You're not English. Where are you I'd from? Be as, uh, where were you, Where were you born? Where were you born? You're English, mate. Welcome to England.
<laughs> no, wait, wait. Do you have an English passport? Yeah, of course I do. Does anyone have well, an English British passport? passport? No, I'm British Sorry. passport. I'm born in England. What's on your birth certificate? Where were you born? Country. Britain. England, mate. I... When I was younger, I, I would say that I was English. Yeah. Undeniably, I would say I was English. Uh -huh. I got older and I realised anyone, like, there, there are not very many British people here. Where, where are your ancestors from? My, which ancestors? Like your mum and dad, your English. parents. English. All born in England. Yeah. Well, mine were. Okay, yeah. So, so are you saying where your parents are born makes what you are? Yeah. No. Your blood that runs through your veins is from oh, a different blood, country. Blood that runs through my veins could be Viking. I don't it know. It could. Could be Normans. The, the beard might be. Yeah. yeah, but I identify as English because I'm born in England. Mm, I used to, but I would not now. Are well, you ashamed about that? No, no, no. Because it's not true. It kind of is. Why? Because you were born in. If someone... Anyway, that's, we're going off point, we're going off point. So what was the point you were making? We're all, I, all right, you said we're all humans. Do the whole all humans thing. Go on, do that thing. You were, I think you was about to say so, we're all humans. Yeah. You believe what you believe and I believe what I believe. I think you were going to so down that road. So this is, this is like my point. You are a human, I am a human. Right. I, I, I have belief, right, yeah. that we all have very similar beliefs, regardless of what religion you are. We have all the same fundamentals. I would disagree. We're not standing here killing each other. I would We're standing here very civil. Are you drinking alcohol good or bad? I have no qualms in it. You can do what you want to do. I think it's bad. Therefore, we're not the same. We're still human. Well, I'm not saying. Do you believe in sex outside of marriage? But there's so many... Like, I no, do you believe in sex outside of marriage? Do I? No. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I don't, so we're not the same. Um, do you believe in gambling? That gambling's yeah, all right? That's only your ethos no, but you in can't, your you, 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 That's you, you as a human, no, as a no, human you, being, you no, are the same as me. No, no, but you can't say we all think we've got the same values, because we don't. I'm not really saying we all necessarily have exactly the same values. So exactly what you said. Our core values are very, very similar. Oh, okay. All of the religions all have very, very similar okay. beliefs. Let me explain one thing about all religions. None of them are reconcilable. Yeah? No religion can reconcile with another. So, if we're trying to seek out truth, all religions can't be true. Yeah? O only one can be true, or atheism is true. Okay. Yeah? So, if, if we dismiss the atheists, then we're left with religion, we're left with God. Only one religion can be true. You can't say, oh, he's a Christian, he's a Hindu, he's a Sikh, he's a Jew, he's a Muslim, and they're, they're all, it's all true what they believe, it can't be true. Why? Okay, so Jesus can't be God and not God. So if you're a Christian, you believe Jesus is God or one part of a third of a trinity, and I'm a Muslim and I believe Jesus is just a prophet of God, can't be both. One of, one of us is wrong. Yeah. Right, so there you go. In Christianity, uh, to be saved, you need to believe Jesus died for your sins. In Islam, that will condemn you. <laughs> yeah. Therefore, you can't reconcile Islam and Christianity. Christianity and Judaism. Judaism don't even recognize Jesus, so you can't reconcile that. Hinduism, got some other flex going on. Sikhs, got another flex going on. Therefore, you cannot reconcile any religion. Only one can be true and the rest are all false. By default. In your opinion? No, it's not an opinion, it's a fact. Why? Okay, because you can't have something what's called a logical contradiction. A logical contradiction is impossible. So you can't have a square and triangle. You can't have a square triangle. Because okay. a triangle has three sides and a square has four sides. Yeah. So you can't have a square triangle. Just as you can't have a uh, Jesus as a God and Jesus not as a God. You can't have both. So this, I'm going to go back to, so that is what you believe. No, it's a fact. Well, that's your fact. My belief, okay, remember that's what we said about belief. Remember what we said about belief? Yeah, Bel your, listen, listen, listen. Your belief. Just listen. This is, no, this is not relative. This is belief based upon reason. Now, if you're going to counter that and say, well, I believe something different, you're delusional. Because you're refuting, you're believing something to be true despite overwhelming evidence to the contrary. And I'll say it again to you. If you believe Christianity and Islam can both be true, that means you're saying a square triangle could be true. That's exactly what you're doing. So that goes back to me saying that if there is people in existence prior to the beginning of Islam, and you're saying that it, well, that's not true. So that's what you're, you're saying that about me. Okay. And I'm saying that about you. Okay. You won't believe prior to Islam that there was an existence of okay. humans. Okay, I'll, I'll say it again to you. If ifs and buts were pots and pans, there'd be no need for tinkers. Okay? Yeah? In the event of if, hypothetically, forget, we're not interested. You're seeking truth here. Mm -hmm. We're not interested in what may be. We're interested in what is. So I'm saying, if we find a human being from 25,000 years ago, first of all, was it really from 25,000 years ago? Did the guy who 
who uh, told us it was from 25 years ago telling the truth? Was he mistaken? Does he really know? Did he make an error? You've got to believe all of this stuff. Yeah? So it's not just a matter of fact that, oh, in the news we found a, a human from 25,000 years ago. Yeah. Really, did we? Look, I'll make things easy for you. There was an event in Leicester a few months ago. And the local news couldn't even get it right. They couldn't even get the facts right of what actually happened, what caused it or anything. Okay. And it was being reported around the world as something that was complete opposite, right? When I saw that, I said, we can't even get what happened on a weekend. We can't even get the facts of that. No. So God help us with history, all right? And claims and facts. And like I explained to you, the scientific method has no absolutes. The science of tomorrow can refute your scientific fact of today based upon the philosophy of science. So if you, you believe in scientism, you, you, you don't know anything. You don't even know your own reality. You can't even say, you can't even know whether your own existence is true. You, 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 you can't do that. And at the same time, as an atheist in this flex, you have to be a moral nihilist. Because we're snooker balls. Everything's random. There is no right and wrong. There is no free will. Everything's been determined by events and chain reaction. Mm -hmm. So this, this is the, these are the principles you have to apply if you're an atheist. So if you're an atheist, don't tell, say this is wrong and that is right because you've got no uh, standard to use. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're an atheist, forget that. Forget saying this is wrong and this is right. Forget, well, like, you, know, you know what atheists should really do with prisoners and criminals? Either kill them all, yeah, or put them in hospitals because they're victims of circumstance. It's not their fault. It's not their fault. Yeah. You know, he's only a serial killer because of how he was brought up and what he did as kids, you know, and people, he killed animals and people didn't really do anything about it. And yeah. he was in an environment and now he's a serial killer. It's not his fault. He didn't choose to be a serial killer. It was a chain of reaction. As an atheist, this is what you have to concede. Yeah. And you can't even say he's wrong because there is no right and wrong because there is no standard. So that's your atheist. Now, for me, I don't know anyone can claim to be an atheist. It's just preposterous. It really is. Okay. Which I agree with. Good man. So. Do you agree with me that there is no religion that can be reconciled? Any religion? No religion. As in what? As in you can't prove? You can't take two different religions and reconcile them, that they're both true. I'm going to say no. You don't agree with me? I don't think, no, I don't think you can reconcile you can't. two religions together. Does that say? But there are similarities. Doesn't between matter. Religions. So I know that doesn't matter. That doesn't are. matter. In fundamentals, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you why. Because if you can't reconcile two religions, then all religions can't be true, by default. Right. Would you agree with that? Partially, yes. No, it's not partially about it. Yes is the answer, it and fully depends, yes. Depends on the bombshell. <laughs> so I'm trying to, look, you're going to Oz, right? Just hold my hand and skip down the road. Yeah, you're going to Oz. All yeah. right. So. <laughs> right, so if no religion can be reconciled, what does that say you? Then it can only mean two things. Well, I, <laughs> it means that they can, through the years they've all grown. No, 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 that's not the question. Listen to the question. What? If they can't be reconciled, yeah. what does that mean? What is the ramifications of not being to reconcile all religions? They're all individual. No. Why aren't they? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you the answer. I'll, I'll lead you by the hand, Dorothy. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. All right. If all the religions can't be reconciled, then either they're all false, mm -hmm. or only one can be true. Right. Agreed. Well, if I don't, all I don't no. Oh, okay. So tell me why you disagree. Well, that's the same. Going back to your football analogy, that's like saying we've got all these teams. I believe that this one team is the best team. Why? No, it's because not. Because you believe no, no, no. in that one team. No, that's not the same. Why? Uh, okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll explain to you. I said, I believe Brazil are going to win the World Cup. Mm -hmm. And here's why I believe Brazil are going to win the World Cup. What would be the same if I said, I think Brazil and Argentina are going to win the World Cup. Then it, then it works. I didn't say that. No, yeah. Right. You're trying to say Brazil and Argentina are going to win the World Cup. Well, I'm not, no. All right. Do you believe two teams can win the World Cup? No. Can you believe two, can, do you believe two religions could be true? Two religions can be true at the same time, or are you saying individually? True. What one religion says and the other religion says, can both of them be factually, realistically, ultimate reality true? And together, are you saying? Is that what you mean, together, as they're, they're under the same Can the umbrella? truth of this religion 
rather than being relative truth, be ultimate truth? And could the truth of this religion be the ultimate truth as well? In the belief, or should I rephrase it? In, in, in the beliefs of both of the people that... No, I'm not interested in relative truth. I'm interested in ultimate truth. Do you believe in the concept of the ultimate truth? Maybe we need to break it down again. I'll what, make it easy. What, as in what? what? I'll make it easy for you. Okay. In the 60s, the USA claimed to put man on the moon. Mm -hmm. Neil Armstrong, one stall step for man, one great leap for yeah, mankind. All yeah. right. There are some people who believe that happened. NASA mm -hmm. claim it happened. Footage. Yeah, and all yeah. that. Yeah, right. Now, there are some people who don't believe it happened. Believe it was all a hoax. Believe it. Why is, the, why is the flags flapping on the moon? Why, yeah, why yeah. is there different light I've shadows? Seen the You've seen yeah. them all. Seen them all. So, not everybody agrees that mm -hmm. man landed on the moon. So, NASA, yeah, yeah, make the claim that man landed on the moon. Okay. The skeptics make the claim man didn't land on the moon. They're both relative truths. Yeah. Right. The ultimate truth would be whether they did or they didn't. Okay. Whether you know or whether you don't know is irrelevant to what the ultimate truth is. And I'll give you one more working example of this. I think you'll get this answer. It's a very easy question. I ask a lot of people just to test their logic. Before we discovered Mount Everest, what was the highest mountain in the world? I have no idea. Whatever one was the highest. Whatever one it's... How do we know? We didn't know. Listen to the question. It's a very simple question. Before we... He knows the answer. Before, before we discovered Mount Everest, what was the highest mountain in the world? We don't know. Do you know the answer? Oh, you don't know the answer? You're like, you're like excited. Huh? No. Mount Everest. Okay. Right? So, whether we knew it existed or not didn't change the reality it was the highest mountain in the world. Right. Now, if I'd have asked you this question before we discovered Mount Everest, what did we believe the highest mountain in the world was, then your answer would be K2, Kilimanjaro, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. But that wasn't my question. My question was what? Before we discovered Mount Everest, what was the highest mountain in the world? What was the reality? Yeah? The scientific fact was... So the ultimate reality was whatever was the highest mountain. Yeah. Unbeknown to us or not. Yeah? There is one under the sea that's actually higher. FYI. Okay. Anyway, the point I'm making is a very, very simple one. Whether we know if man landed on the moon or not, whether we trust NASA or whether we trust the skeptics and their claims, they either landed on the moon or they didn't. Agreed? Okay, yeah. They couldn't land on the moon and not land on the moon. Agreed? Yeah. Okay, Brazil and Argentina both can't win the World Cup, can they? No. Right. And Christianity and Islam can't both be true, can they? No. No, khalas. And no other religion can reconcile with Islam or Christianity or Judaism or Sikhism no. or Hinduism or Shintoism or Taoism or Confucianism. Nothing can relate and reconcile that for all to be true. Okay. So again, so you agree now, not partially, fully, that either all religions are false, yeah. or only one can be true. Okay. Do you agree with that fully now? Well, no. Why not? Because there can be two things that happen, and neither of them can be true. Which is what I said. But then you were saying that one of them is going to be true. Now, what I said to you is this. They're either all false, and there is no God. Or there's one. Or only one can be true. If you think you have a third option, mm -hmm. give it to me. If anyone in the crowd you're, has, you're, a, has a third option. But you're, you're only based, so you're just saying that all religions, okay, all the religions throughout the whole world, are any of them true? No, no. If I, if I, said, no, no, no. If I said that all, none of them are true. You can say that. I don't mind you saying that. Because that's what, all you can say. Then what would be your answer? Well, why, why would there only be one? No, no, that's not, no, 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 no. Listen to what I'm saying, please. It really helps. Okay. I said... Either all religions yeah. are false because yes. there is no God. Okay. Or if there is a God, only one of these religions can be true. Do you agree with that? I don't. Okay. Why don't you agree with that? You're, you are basing your analogies on like things that can be provable or truths. No. Pro prove your... your Prove what you're saying. Prove what I'm saying. Why is Islam the All only right. religion? I didn't say Islam was. I think you did at the beginning. No, I didn't. 
I, I, no, that's my belief. Yeah, I, I can reason that out, no problem. Okay. I can refute every other religion, obviously. So I can refute Christianity and Judaism and Sikhism and Hinduism and whatever it may be. Okay. Therefore, Islam has to be the only one left. Okay? The process of elimination. Right. Okay, okay, I'll make it easy for you. Christianity and Islam cannot both be true. I'll explain why. In Christianity, I mean, I'm talking about Orthodox Christianity, not mm -hmm. all the heretical uh, yeah. understandings. Orthodox Christianity is this that God is comprised of three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and these three are one. And from this, man, um, from the beginning, man sinned in the Garden of Eden and had to pay a blood sack. God required blood payment to for the forgiveness of sin, as in the Bible, Paul says, there's no forgiveness of sin without the shedding of blood. So uh, the, the animal sacrifices was to, um, to get their sins forgiven, okay. And then in Christianity, Jesus came as God came as a man to die for our sins so there'll be no need for animal sacrifices no more and that Jesus is the sacrificial lamb the atonement for the sin of the world and once this happened all you need to do is believe in him that he did this thing and you're saved yeah yeah okay Islam says God is one he's not three he's one Islam says there's no need for blood sacrifice to forgive anything. Islam says Jesus was just a man, just a prophet, and he didn't die for your sins. He wasn't crucified, nor did they kill him. Okay. Can both of those statements be factually true? No. No. Therefore, one of them is wrong, or they're both wrong. Okay. Agreed? I do, yeah. Good man. So you agree, now I could do this now. In Hinduism, they believe in this caste system, the uh, Brahmas and untouchables and all these different kind of flexes. They believe in elephant gods and monkey gods and they've got all these fantastical stories going on and yeah. this, that, the other. Yeah? And then you come to Christianity and it's like, what? You're talking about no graven images and all of a sudden you're worshipping statues of monkeys. Even though in the Vedas, I think it does say, don't make graven images of anything. And I'm shocked at the, the, the Hindu book says, don't make graven images of anything. And then they've got statues yeah. everywhere. I, I don't understand it. But anyway, the point being made is Hinduism and, you know, reincarnation and all this business, you know, that when you die, you can come back as a squirrel or whatever it may be. Um, Christianity refutes this idea. So I'm going to take Islam off the table now. So I'm not waving the Islamic okay. flag. All right. And, and Christianity and Hinduism can't be reconciled. Okay. okay. Christianity and Judaism. Well, they reject Jesus. So forget that. You can't reconcile those two. Sikhs. Um, they believe in the next gurus. I'm not quite sure about the Sikhs in the sense of, uh, I know when people ask me about Sikhism, I just say I prefer my Hinduism without a sprinkling of Islam. Yeah? So, so I prefer my, sorry, rephrase that. I prefer my Islam without a sprinkling of Hinduism because uh, the, it's a kind of combination of the two. It's something that occurred in India to unite Muslims and Hindu. Okay? Yeah. So for me, that can't be true. All right? Okay. They can't both be true. Okay. Uh, Buddhism, there's no God in the concept of Buddhism. Yeah, it's not a it's not a deistic religion. It's, it, it doesn't believe in the concept of a creator. It, it's a philosophy. So that can't be true if Christianity is true, or if okay. Islam is true, or if Judaism is true. So I'll repeat myself: no religion of the world today can be reconciled with another. No. Nope. Which means either they're all false, and there is no God, and religion is just made up by men, or it means one has to be the truth. Do you agree? Because I'm not necessarily a religious person, I'm going to say that I don't agree. Why not? Because I think the beginnings of lots of the religions were based around... We're not talking about beginnings of religions, we're talking about the fundamentals. Well, the fundamentals of them religions in the beginning You've were just based agreed. around each other. Okay. All right. Do, of... do you understand this is the same point? So listen, to, listen to this. Do you know when I say to you, can Christianity be reconciled with Islam? Can uh -huh. they both be true? No? No, they can't be no, right. Can Sikhism be reconciled with Hinduism? No. Nope. Can Sikhism be reconciled with Buddhism? No. So none of them. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, so, so none of them can. Yeah. So I get that none of them can. But then by saying so, if none, so of, none them of them can, can, then one of them is true. Well, it would have to be. Well, let's just go, let's go with that for a second and say one of them is true. Right. Why are you choosing one religion is to be the truth? What do you mean? So you you are you saying? Oh that no, there has to be one. Which one is it? But why are you saying that Islam is? Is that what you're saying? Is that what you said at the beginning? See, see here's the thing. See, you're trying to pull the curtain back in Osme. I'm not even there yet. All right, relax. See, I know why you kept saying you don't agree, because you knew the trap was about to spring. Well, yeah. Yeah, all right. So the first thing you have to do before we get to that point, though, is dismiss atheism. 
Right. Do you dismiss atheism? Yeah. Everyone believes in something. That doesn't... No, 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 no. <laughs> what people believe in doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. What truth is this? Look, either God exists, creator exists, or doesn't. An atheist says, there is no God. Everything is just random, natural, materialistic. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And a, a theist will say, no, 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 no. There's a God, creator, created everything. Um, yeah? So atheism and theism can't both be true. Agreed? Yes. Good man. Okay. So what we need to do before we go to Islam is, first of all, let's get rid of atheism. Okay. Do you believe atheism is true? I believe some people that believe in it are... Okay, will you stop would talking you, would about you, you other say, people? Would you say that I'm an atheist because I said to you that I believe in like Mother Nature? Uh, do you believe there's a creator of everything or not? I do believe in... yeah, yeah, I do. So you're not an atheist? Even if I wouldn't say that that was God, you'd still say that I'm not It an wouldn't atheist. matter at that point. If you... I'm, if, not, I'm not saying this, but say if I said that I believed it was aliens, I'm not saying that. But would you still say that I'm not an atheist? Uh, okay. Or would you say I'm a nutbag? If you want to quote uh, Richard Dawkins and present his arguments when he's asked about the origin of the or, first origin of the cell, or, yeah, mm -hmm. and his answer is pansper, trans, uh, panspermia, yeah. which is aliens put us here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where you have to go. But then the next question would need to be, where the aliens come from? Right. Okay. Would have to be the next question. Yeah. So in answer, I. I am not an atheist. You're not an atheist. Right. right. So and I believe that most people, even if they say they don't believe in, they don't believe in God, but they do believe in something. All right. So, all right. So this something you believe in, is it conscious? Mm, I would say yes. Yes, good man. Has a will. Hmm. Okay. Uh, intelligent? Yes. Powerful? Yes. Okay. Would this creator that created us know us better than we know ourselves? Mm. In the sense of what's good and bad for us? I would like to say yes, but then there's things that obviously happen around the world that make you doubt that but I'm gonna say yes in the uh, in the short term why wouldn't the one who created you know you better than you know yourself why would they know me better than me because they put the no no knows what's best for you because mm. they know more because they created you yeah when you buy a phone you read the manual tells you how to take care of it or whatever it may be yeah. Yeah, how to use it. Because why? Because the manufacturer of that phone knows how to use that phone properly. If you don't know how to use the phone properly, you're going to guess. Mm -hmm. Now, if you had a phone without a manual and I got a phone with a manual, I guarantee I'll know to use it better than you would. Right. Unless it's an iPhone, I ain't got a clue anyway. Even with a manual, I don't even know. Safari, what's this? Anyway, do you get the point? Yes. So therefore, our creator that created us knows what harms, what benefits us. So what we can say at this point is that the creator would be the source of supreme supreme guidance yeah and the source of objective morality universal morality that applies to every human being irregardless of culture custom place in the world time in the world it would be it, it would all be irrelevant now because the creator is beyond time and space would have to be if it created time and space yes yeah therefore it would know what's best for its creation agreed yes okay now you as a human being how do you connect to that? You'd be stupid not to. For me, it's just being outside. Walking in the woods, being with nature. And but you've just said drinking alcohol is not a problem, gambling is not a problem, um, se sex outside of marriage is not a problem. Uh -huh. So you're not receiving supreme guidance because these things are a massive poison in every society of the world. I mean, you can say that that's your opinion. No, it's a fact. Is it? Yes. Why? Why is alcohol bad? Alcohol has been around for a very, very long time, has it not? Okay. Has it not? It is good. Yeah, but <laughs> these things have been around for a millennia, uh, haven't they? But that, but that doesn't make that thing good, does it? <laughs> 
Every, uh, so go to jumping on a fire. Go like, go to go to any go know? to go to any A and E on a Friday or Saturday night, uh -huh. and you'll see how harmful alcohol is. Yeah, access. No, no, no. Excess or access? I would say access. access. You you say access. I say access. Okay. Because where do you stop? Well, how do you stop? Who knows when you stop? Because when you've opened the door to it, who knows? Like I've always been a Muslim. I used to work in Falaraki. Right? I've seen it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. Right. And Zakynthos. I, I worked in both Greek islands and bar bar work. Yeah. So I've I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. Falaraki was so disgusting. I had to leave after six weeks. I was yeah. done with it. Second thirst was all right. Three and a half months. Uh, Falaraki, phew, six weeks. I'm out of here. Before this season even opened, just the, just the actions of the workers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got out of dodge. Alcohol is a poison within society, completely. Yeah. Um, people lose their uh, inhibitions and their minds. You know. You know. If you if you spoke to a lot of these young girls that are getting pregnant, I guarantee you, alcohol was part of the process. Yeah, when you look at the grooming gangs that are going on, grooming young girls, they're plying them with drugs and alcohol. Yeah, it's a poison. And the amazing thing is, you see, this society that we live in, and most societies, they don't just prohibit it, they encourage it. Because they make money from it. Yeah. yeah. So what does that tell you? It tells you that your society where you live right now don't care about you. They don't care what's best for you. They don't care what's best for your family. They don't care what's best for your kids. They don't care. They just want to make this. Yeah, which I... Yeah. Now, I believe if alcohol was invented yeah. tomorrow, it would be banned, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah? But because, obviously, like said, it's been here for so long, we have it. Exactly. Now, you look what happened in America when they tried to prohibit alcohol. It went... Sales went through the roof because yeah. of the mafia and all this kind of stuff. So, why did America try to ban alcohol? Yeah? You look at drunk drivers. Alcohol is poison. It shouldn't be in our shop cell. It shouldn't be on our shelves. I agree that it's, it's a lot more readily available it's than poison. it should be. It's poison. It's poison. Right, gambling. Gambling is poison. Yes. And now, I used to be a, I used to love gambling before I was a Muslim. I used to work in a bookies. Mm -hmm. Now, I used to watch people gambling their money away. But you know the worst thing about these uh, poisons? There's five poisons. Drugs, alcohol, gambling, sexual immorality, and interest. These are the five poisons in every society, right? right? The worst thing is, is when you combine them. If you combine alcohol and gambling, oh, your wages are gone. Mm. Your wages are gone. You combine alcohol and sexual immorality. Teenage pregnancies by the score. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh okay. So, we have a situation where you're living, like you say, you, you go out, you smell the trees. But well, it's got nothing to do with the values you have in your life and what you think is right and wrong. Because you've already told me gambling's all right, drinking's all right, sexual and sleeping outside of marriage is all right. Yes. In yeah. moderation. Homosexuality, is that all right as well? If, well, it goes back to the human thing. If other people want to do that, that's their... It's the same as me not caring what religion you are. Okay. So it, 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 To it, me, it's the same thing. So if two brothers want to have sex, that's all right? If that's what they want to so do. So incest is fine with you? It doesn't affect me. So incest is fine? I'm not going to agree with it. I well, is it wrong? I, I wouldn't do it. Is it wrong? If they want to do it? There, there are things that go on like that around do the world. Do you believe it's wrong, though? Two brothers want to have sex with each other. Is it wrong? I believe it's wrong, yeah. So you do believe it's wrong? Yeah. Right. So you do believe it's I'm not going to go out of my way to... If people are doing that, I'm not going to go out of my way to stop them doing that. If they want to do it, they can do it. Right, but, but it's wrong? Yeah. I believe it's wrong. Okay. What about if necrophilia? If my brother wanted to have sex with me, I would stop him. What about necrophilia? Yes. Why is that wrong? wrong? Why is it wrong? Because I don't think you should be messing around with the dead. Why not? Because they're dead, they should be at peace. So what if they left it in their will that um, my family are so poor that you can use my body uh, for people to have sex with me and feed my family? Now what? If that was their last dying wish, then let it happen. Is that's, it wrong? If that's what they want. So is it wrong? I believe it's wrong. It goes back to the same thing. Why, why is it wrong? I believe it's wrong. Why do you believe it's wrong? Because that's my belief. No, that but why? My morals of me being brought up. No, but I'm up. trying to understand your morals. Why is it wrong? Because that's something you just don't do. Why not? Because let the sleep, like let the dead people. Well, they've, 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 they've already peace. agreed. They've already agreed. Yeah, but it's not my. If it was my family member. No, no, it's not your family member. If it's someone I don't know, then let. Someone do you don't know. Do. Someone you don't know. Yeah. Who's who said you can pimp my body when I'm dead to feed my family? Right? Yeah. And they signed a, a contract and everything. Okay. Yeah, they're an atheist. They don't believe there's anything when they die. So, I, I can say that I disagree. Do you believe it's wrong? I, I think that it's wrong, right? Why? I can say that I think it's wrong. Why? But if they want to do that, Why do you believe it's wrong? that's their decision. Why do you believe it's wrong? Because that's my 
my moral compass on this world. Based upon what though? Just based upon my life. Why? why? Why is somebody, what business is it of yours if somebody wants to uh, sell their dead body for sex to feed their family? What business is it of yours? Well, it's not. It's only because so, you're asking me. So why is it wrong? You bring it up in a conversation like this, for instance, right? And I can say I disagree with it. I know you would. Okay. But if it's happening over there and I don't know about it, then I don't no, know. No, you know about I'm it. I'm telling you about it. Do you would think I, it's wrong? I, go over and I just want them? to understand your. I'm trying to understand what you get your morality from. Why because, can't someone just have the belief that something is wrong? Okay, and that's it. Why do they have to have something behind it? Why do I have oh, to have okay. read something? Oh, 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 oh. Or someone needs to tell me that you're wrong. All right, I'll explain. That's my. Oh, okay, so we make moral judgments based upon our standard of morality. So I'm trying to ascertain what your standard of morality is and where you get it from. Okay. And what do you understand? Yeah. So um, where do you get yours from? Just so My I creator, could... supreme okay. guidance. So you have a book that tells you these are the things that you should and shouldn't do I, I, effectively. I have a connection to my creator okay. that knows every facet of my life and guides me in every facet of my life. It guides me away from all the things that harm me and encourages me to do the things that are beneficial. Okay. So how okay. do you know not to drink alcohol? Because my creator tells me this is no how? good for you. In a book or he yeah, actually in a book. told in a book. you? In the Quran. So you, you have a list of rules to a degree that yes. tells you this, this, yeah. this. See, here's the amazing thing about, you know I talked about the phone earlier and the manual? Mm -hmm. Okay, the beautiful thing about Islam, not only do we have the manual, we have the guy to explain the manual to us. Okay. So not only has the, uh, has the manual come through the door to put the phone, yeah, the guy's arrived with the manual and he's showing you the manual. Yeah. And this means that, and when you see that, and that button's over there, and that, so you understand that? Yeah, yeah. This is what we have. So we don't just have the Quran, but the Quran is the manual. We have the Prophet Muhammad, peace and bless me upon him, who is the, to show us how to utilize the manual, how to understand it. And we have an example to follow in our lives. So we follow the manual, alhamdulillah, to the best that we can as human beings. We're weak human beings. Nobody's yeah. perfect. No one's yeah. claiming perfection. But we have the guidance okay. for us. Yeah. So we know alcohol is prohibited. And so the, the Quran talks about, first of all, don't go to the prayers while drunk. Yeah. And then the Quran says, now don't drink alcohol. And then the Prophet Muhammad says, so 10 people are cursed when it comes to alcohol. Those who buy it, pour it, transport it, serve it, yeah? 10 right. people. So it's not just drinking the alcohol now that it's wrong. Going anywhere near it, the whole don't open the door to it, yeah. is wrong. So that's how we know. So we establish the Creator as the source of supreme guidance. We plug into that. Okay. Yeah? You don't. But why am I wrong? Why is it wrong for me just to have a moral compass and I have my own set of rules? Because you're a product of your environment. If I asked you a question 50 years ago, is homosexuality right or wrong? You'd say it's wrong. That's only probably because of the upbringing. Like if you ask my no, that's dad, be, that's he because would say of your no. social conditioning. Now you're seeing them kissing on neighbours. It's not a problem. Brookside and whatever. Mm -hmm. Remember back in the old you. 39. 39. So you're born then. in 1983. Yeah. yeah. I was born in 1973. But, <laughs> but what I'm saying is, it, because it's so normalised now, yeah, no, you, 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 would, you would hesitate, oh, is it right, is it wrong? It was illegal. A man couldn't even have anal sex with his wife. It was illegal. Yes. In the UK. Okay. So we know it was wrong. So 50 years ago. Now, the problem is now, we're 50 years later, it's not a problem. Yeah? So this tells me that you are swayed by your society. Yeah, your morality is not yours. You think it's yours. It's not yours. Your society's permeated it into you. Do you think it's okay for a man to identify as a woman and go into a women's dressing room? Just trying to understand you. No, I don't. You don't think it's right? Why not? I, I do believe that men are men and women are women. But this society says it's all right. Yeah, but that's the society that you you think that I'm conditioned to that society. So yeah. therefore, I've just proved you wrong. No, no, I'm not conditioned to the society. Obviously, not yet. It will happen. It's coming. It's coming. Like homosexuality get crept in, it will come in. You won't see if I ask you this question in 30 years' time. Because homosexuality, right? If two guys want to go and do what they want to do with each other, that doesn't affect me. What if a man wants to have sex with a child? That's not homosexuality. No, but what if it is? That's what if a man, no, no, but but if a man wants to have sex with a child? Man wants to have sex with a child. Right. Okay. Um, it's nothing to do with you, not affecting you. Right. Is that wrong? Yes. Why? Because he's a child and okay. she shouldn't have sex with children. She's a, 15 year, she, again. she's a 15 year old girl and she's 16 next week. She's still a child. 
So a week later is all right. If she consents to that when she's that age and that's so, so whatever. So one I week think... later, it's okay. One week before, it's wrong. That's the law. As right, so that, the law is your standard now. Some of my rulings would be on, on that, yeah. Okay, so a brother can't have sex with his brother because that's against the law. If they're doing that behind closed doors, I know that you're going to go back to the it's paedophile thing. The paedophile thing is completely no, different. No, 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 no. First thing, it's that's against... That's a different... Listen, listen. Um, minor attracted people, MAP, you've heard of them? No. Okay, they're coming with the same homosexual arguments. I can't wow. help it, I'm attracted to children, what can I do? This is how I was born. Lady Gaga, born this way. Maps they're called now, you know that. They're not called paedophiles anymore, they're called maps. Minor attracted people. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, they're coming. They're coming, right? But the point I'm trying to say is, this is the, this is the flip-flopping you're doing. One minute something's okay, then another thing's wrong because it's against the law, but the thing you said was okay is against the law. So how can your standard be the law when you've already said something is okay, which is against the law? I get, I get why you're confused, but... Why am I confused? Because you're, you're thinking that it should just be one rule for all of it, and I should just say no. No, no, no. It, kind of thing. You either use something as a standard to determine right and wrong, or you don't. Yeah, but you're, going, you're flip-flopping between two different things. Two, like, two homosexuals like, going with each other. I didn't say that. I said brother and brother. Well, brother and brother. We did say homosexuals as well. But that is not the same as someone trying to sleep with a child. Okay, why not? Because it's a completely different thing. Why? I know you can say it's still sex or whatever. Why? In my eyes, it's a completely different why? thing. Why? That's my moral compass. No, no. <laughs> the reason you said was it's against the law. That's what you said. Yeah, and it's against my moral so compass. So if something's against the law, that means the law is your standard of morality. I wouldn't really say it's my standard of morality. So why did you use because it? Because there's other laws. So why I... did you use it? So if the law get changed tomorrow, you could have sex with 14-year-olds. Uh, no. Is no. that a problem? No, because that's what I'm saying. I don't, I'm not using the law as my standard. You just did? Only for the example to yourself. Not to say the reason I don't believe that paedophilia should happen is because of the law, because it's morally wrong. But that's my belief. Mor morally it's wrong, of course. Morally wrong. The According morals of a human being you oh. should not be having sex with, According your, to, well, with your brother. In Spain, you, you can have sex with a 14-year-old. So what's the problem? We're not in Spain. But there you're are Spanish you're people. You're English, remember. So are those Spanish people paedophiles? Paedophiles? Well, it's the same. In, uh, all other countries you go to, you can so have they, yeah, sex yeah, yeah. with minors. All right, Would all right. I go there and have sex with a minor? No. no one's saying that. Because of my moral compass. Well, just this, and no. that disproves me, you saying about the law, because the law is you can have sex with my wall. Well, no, no. They're not you, minors there. You, 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 your reason why you couldn't have sex with a 15-year-old was it's against the law. That's what you said. Well, not me have sex with someone else, just to be clear. Yeah, I'm not calling you a pedophile. <laughs> I'm saying to you, you said the reason why a guy couldn't have sex with a 15-year-old who's 16 next week yeah. is because it's against the law. And, all right, so for the basis of my life, that has been my, the fundamental structure yeah, of I know my it has. moral compass. Why? Why has it been in your... Because that's the right thing. No, because that's society training you. See, right, yeah. see I'll, make, I'll make it easy for you, right? You're a slave. Yeah? Right. I'll tell you the difference. You're a slave to your ego. I'm a slave to my creator. Okay. Yeah? And that's a massive difference. You know why? Because your ego will fool you and trick you and want stuff. Mm -hmm. But when you're a slave to your creator, it doesn't matter what the ego wants. The ego takes a back seat now. It's the creator. Right. Yeah. So why um, you're a man who seeks truth. Which religion do you believe is true? Well, I don't really seek truth. You said you did. Mm, I didn't. Oh, OK. Oh, let me rephrase that. I don't mind. You're a man who cares about truth. That's what you said. First minute on the camera. I don't think I said First that. question I asked you. Do you care about truth? And your response was, of course I do. Well, yeah, only because you asked the question. So did I ask... You, did you I ask structured that? a question to get an answer. Did I ask you the question, do you care about truth? You said yes. Yes. So I do care about truth. Right. I don't seek out truth like what you just so said. If you care, right, so if you care about truth, why don't you seek it out? Because that's a big spectrum that you're talking about. It's truth not. of what? Truth of reality of this world. 
truth if there's a creator or not. So Would if you... I was seeking, so it goes back to what I originally said to you. So if I was seeking it out, and the conversation that we've had has not gone past my first sort of question to you. Which, which was like, your, what was your first question to me? So I'm saying that the, the science of like the world and the first well, I, humans I, go back past all the you, religions. First thing you did, I'll, I'll tell you what you did. You said, I seek truth. Yeah, I remember everything. SubhanAllah. Allah gave me this ability. You said you seek truth. I said, how do you seek truth? No, you said you care about truth. I said to you, how do you find out what's true or not? You said, I use science. Science, yes. Si no, the words were scientific facts. Yes. Then I completely refuted you. Mm -hmm. There are no facts in science. That's, so the, that's so, your belief, yes. No, that's a reality. Do I, I don't have to repeat that again, do I? I don't mind. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? You're going to say, if there's two things, and one says this, one says that, only one of them can be right. No. That's not how I refuted science. I said in science, a scientific fact was a static universe. Yeah. Then they discovered, back, then they discovered redshift, yeah. and background radiation, yeah. and said if there's background radiation, that means the universe is expanding. Therefore, the steady state universe is wrong. Therefore, the science of that day was proven wrong by the science following. Therefore, if your method of understanding the world we live in and seeking truth based upon is the scientific method, then your method is flawed because the same method could refute what you think is true today, tomorrow. So it's, it, it, it's, it's a kind of, it's like quicksand, if you like. Mm. And the other problem you have, science cannot measure the metaphysical. So you cannot prove the existence of God based using the scientific method. No. Therefore, if you're trying to seek truth, and one of the truths you're trying to seek out is, does a God exist or not? The scientific method ain't going to help you. No. But. <laughs> Hence, I went to the God hypothesis, where I posited the claim, and anyone's welcome to refute it, that there's, there's a phrase that atheists love to use with theists. It's called God of the gaps. Right. And what they say is, it's, we don't know what it was, so we're saying it's God. But that's not what I say. I say there is no other explanation. Right. The best explanation for the universe is God. You can't posit anything else. There's nothing that will fit in. So do you know what I call the atheists? Don't know the gaps. Right. Yeah, they don't know nothing. Everything's conjecture. And like I said to you, an atheist is a moral nihilist. An atheist is a determinist. So there's no uh, right and wrong. There's no morality. There's no choice. Everything is just snookables. Yeah, no, I get it. And they shut everything Which down. Which is completely irrational. Yeah. So the ones, so we can, we can refute that. So going back to what I'm saying now, so the scientific method you agree is flawed. Now, do you accept if this creator does exist, you'd be stupid not trying to connect to it? Yeah. yeah. Alright. And what are you doing to connect to it? What I do personally is I do spend a lot of time outside in woodlands and stuff. No, it's a different nature. thing. By doing that, yeah. you're appreciating creation. Okay. You're appreciating what the creation creator did. And it's taking time to connect with You're not connecting with nothing. You're appreciating because you're appreciating creation. Are you not recognizing the creator? You're not uh, glorifying you the creator. What do you do? You're not thanking it. Me? Yeah. Subhanallah. What do I do? Yeah. Okay. I connect to the creator. Okay. Yeah. Five, ah. ti five times a day. Right. I make a phone call. Five times a day. Right. In the morning, in the afternoon, late afternoon, early, early evening and late evening. Five times a day. Why is I that? stop what I do. Why is that different from me taking a walk? Okay. Because I get down on my knees. Okay. And I pray and recognize and glorify the one who created me. I forget everything around me. I forget the trees and the sun and the stars. And my, my mind is focused on the one who created me and thanking that creator for what he's given me. Mm -hmm. And asking that creator for more. Yeah, five times a day. So five times a day, my, my world is interrupted by remembrance of my creator. Yeah? Which is similar to my walks. No, it's not. So basically, I'll tell you the difference. All right. Let's say someone said to you, I'm going to give you 50 grand. Mm -hmm. And all I need you to do is five times a day, just call me up and thank me. 
right. Would you take the 50 grand? No. All you got to do, you wouldn't take it. What if I said to you, I'm going to give you one million pound, and all you need to do is five times a day, pick up the phone, get up in the morning, six in the morning, 5.30 in the morning, just dial the number and just say, I just for, want to thank for you for- the rest of uh, my life? Yeah. No. Uh, what if I said I was going to give you 10 million pound, and all you Trying need- to buy me out. Yeah, I'll give you 10 million pound. All you need to do, this is nothing more, nothing less. I'm not asking you to do anything, just six in the morning. I want you to pick up the phone and say, I just want to thank you for that 10 million pound you gave me. Really appreciate it. Thanks. Um, never forget it. Boom. And then uh, you're at work and it's, it's, it's like lunchtime and you say, wait a minute, I've got to go make a phone call. Yeah, hello. I just want to thank you again for that 10 million pound you gave me. All right. Oh, you're not even going to be at work. You, you, I don't know. You're, you're, on your, you're, on your yacht. you're on your yacht somewhere. All right. Are you telling me you, you wouldn't do that? Because if you're saying that, you're a liar. And you just lose all credibility. I'd want more money. Because you're a liar. Why? You, you want to take 10 million? 1 billion. All right. Elon Musk calls you up. I'm going to give you 1 billion pounds. I'll take a billion. Yeah. You take it. You'll take it. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, let's say, I say, I'll give you a billion pounds for your eye. The left eye. I want the left oh, eye. No, you can't have a good one. Why not? Because the other one's crap. <laughs> but wait a minute. I want the, uh, can I take the right one then? Yeah. Which one can I take? You can have the right one. I can give you a billion. Oh, because it doesn't work. All right, maybe a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, give you a billion, I'll give you a billion for your left hand. Would you give me your left hand? No. Why not? Because I want to keep it. You want to keep it? Yeah. Oh, okay, subhanAllah. But you thank me for the billion pounds, but the one who give you that hand, there's not even, to you, is worth more than a billion. You don't thank. You don't recognize. Right. You don't glorify. So what you do, when you said it's the same thing, smelling the trees, you just sit there counting the money. <laughs> Forget the one who gave you the doll. Just count the money. What I do, I get down on my knees and thank the one who gave me the money. And that's the difference. I interrupt my day wherever I am. If, I, if I'm out and about, I have to stop, find somewhere to pray, put my coat down, recognize my creator. Mm. I'm tired, it's, it's late. Oh, our issue's not started yet. I've got to stay awake till Isha. I'm praying my prayer. Okay. Yeah? I'm tired yeah. in the morning. Oh, Fudge alarm goes. I gotta get out of bed now and pray. Subhanallah. This is the difference. See, I'm thanking the one who gave me my arm, hands, and yeah. my eyes, and my ears, and my nose, and my body, and my wife, and my children, and my friends, and my family. I'm thanking that one. Okay. That's the difference. So when you said, "What's the difference?" I'm telling you the difference. You're counting the dough. I'm thanking the one who well, gave. Not necessarily uh, counting. You, the are, you are. You are. You are. You're counting the dough, and I'm the one. But that goes back to your rule of list. Your. your like the list of your rulings because you're just following something that told you that's what you need to do and every like you, right right that's so what you're let, do. Let, let's, let's. I don't have that list of right. rules you don't have that guidance I know I agree okay your guidance you follow is based on people who don't care about you that's that's the difference my guidance is based upon the one who created me and cares about me well a lot of my guidance is based on what I want to do. No, it's not. Which is good for me. No, it's not. Yeah, no. no. One makes I told me go you. Out I, I told you, you're a slave to ego. You're a slave to ego. I know. Who, Whatever satisfies who makes you. Who you go out and walk in the woods? Okay. Who told Appreciating me that? creation is mm. a beautiful thing. But right. appreciate the creator. Is even more beautiful. And that, that's what you need to do. This is so beautiful. This cannot have happened by itself. How did this happen? And if you're a seeker of truth, try to work out how this happened and ask me for example why why do i believe islam is true why do i believe islam is true why because a man in the desert uh -huh. 1400 years ago claimed in a cave an angel came to him and told him he was a messenger to mankind and told him he was to go down and speak to the people and tell them that to worship the god worship and recognize god and to stop all the bad things that they're doing the wrong things that they're doing yeah okay now Let's do our hypothesis. You know, like we smashed the atheists in our God mm -hmm. hypothesis, in, in our universe hypotheses. Let's do the same. If this event occurred in history, now we know he believe, we know he existed, and so the claim was made. What are the hypotheses? What what could this be the result of? What what could what could have happened in a cave fourteen hundred years ago that made him say what he said? I've got four hypotheses. Right. One, he was crazy. Mm -hmm. He was delusional. He was a madman. A bit he was hallucinating. Yeah. 
He was seeing visions of angels who were not there. He was hearing voices in his head who were not there. He was schizophrenic. And he thought he was a messenger to mankind, but in fact it was all in his mind. Yeah. That's one option. Option number two, this is the Christian claim. He was deceived. A devil pretended to be an angel to fool him into believing he was a messenger of God, when in fact he was a messenger of the devil. I'm going to... Yeah. Uh, third option. He was lying. This is the atheist claim. He was lying. He fabricated it all. He had... Yeah, I know. I'm going to finish it now. Uh, he, he made it all up to, 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 for some motive, for some personal gain. And that there was no angels and there was no supernatural experience. It was all concocted by him as a con man. Mm -hmm. Or for he's telling the truth. Okay. Do me one favor. Go away and test that. Please. Just look at each claim in turn. So if he was crazy, what would I expect to see? Yeah. Uh, what do we see and what would we expect to see? Um, if he was deceived by the devil, what do we see and what should we expect to see? If he was lying, what do we see and what should we expect to see? And if he's telling the truth, well, that's the one should dismiss the other three. That's the mm -hmm. truth. All right. Inshallah. I'm going to give you my... Um, this. What's your name? Hamza. Um, what's your name? Sam. Sam. And you're ginger, see, when I see gingers, I just get attracted because I know you're close to becoming Muslims. I thought, Inshallah. When, when Let I, me take your... Can I take your number, yeah? I was looking on... Um, it was on TikTok, I think. TikTok, I think it was yeah. TikTok. Yeah, yeah, and I, and I, you was like the second video that came. Okay. Up. I thought, let's see what he's saying. How did it? 